And there it goes. Are you looking for something different? Are you driving to work every morning and saying to yourself, hmm, what could I do to pass the time? Well, here's a show for you. Weekdays, Monday through Friday. Have faith, let it begin. It is a show designed for you, the daily commuter. Motivational topics, inspirational stories, personal testimony set out to change the world. Join us every morning live at 7.30 a.m. Because this is a show all about faith. My name is Angel, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin, this primetime edition. Um, i like to welcome all the viewers that are actually coming in right now, and they're, boy, they're peaking. So thank you so much for taking the time to come on with us. We want to make sure that you are all aware that we will be praying officially at 8 o'clock, um, right, on the mo- right, right on the dot. We're not going to wait t- for that. If you haven't had time to get a candle, and if it's okay if you don't have one, um, as you can see, we're all live on our Facebook account. Um, if you have a chance, uh, make sure you're on the actual Facebook account because by doing that, you can see the actual virtual presentation that is on as we speak. Um, so again, it's something that you guys can take advantage of, something that you can see, and I hope that all of you can see what I'm looking at at the same time. So with that being said, we'd like to welcome officially every single viewer from um, all across the world. So tonight is a night that we wanted to get together and talk. So I want to officially welcome each and every person out there. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Angel Santana, and I am the host of a podcast that airs on a weekly basis, weekdays, I should say, at 7.30 a.m. live. It's called Have Faith, Let It Begin. So I want to to definitely welcome everyone from all over the world. I want to personally thank each and every one of you who have had a chance to respond to me and let me know that you're welcomed to this invitation. For those of you um, who are joining us for the first time, know that our show is designed for the daily commuter. Uh, We have inspirational stories, motivational topics, personal testimony set out to change the world. Um, Tonight, we're going to be broadcasting to everyone, and it's a simulcast. Um, The simulcast is designed for that every single family member all over the world can try and sit and relax for just a few minutes so that we can pray together. Uh, Tonight, we broadcast to everyone, and as many of you are home with our families We try to weather out this virus, this virus that has taken over the world. I began to think about what to do on this special day, which I'm calling Primetime Prayer Day. And the reason why I'm calling it a special day is because I personally know and feel that prayer is the most important thing. And I believe that we should bring hope and peace of mind to all of us all over the world. And the only way to do that is through prayer. So here we go. I'm a firm believer in prayer, and I believe that prayer is the best medicine against fear, pain, sickness. For some of us, we may not pray on a daily basis, and you know what? That's okay. Some of us pray in our own ways. Others show prayer with action, and some of us pray silently. Tonight, I wanted to ask everyone to join me and pray 
for eight minutes. In these eight minutes, we will come together and share the peace of Christ. And I hope that for the next eight minutes, starting at eight o'clock, we can all discover the peace, the love and strength that God has for all of us. Some of you have written to me and asked me how to pray. Prayer has no, no formality. Prayer is the way that you communicate with God in your own way. Some of us sing. Others yell out. Some of us cry out. Tonight, we will pray with silence. As we pray for peace, I will ask you to think about all those who are in the hospitals, all those who are sick, all those that are requiring prayer who may not know who God is. And the most important thing is in order to start a prayer, I believe that we can do that with the Lord's Prayer. As we pray today, before we begin, begin the Lord's Prayer, let's continue to pray for the elderly and the young, to the children and the people who are doing all they can to help us. We must remember to pray for the doctors, for military, for police, nurses and firemen, first responders and EMTs, grocery store clerks and those that are working to keep food at our, gra at our grasps and all other essential personnel who continue to work during these trying times. We must keep in prayer those who are not working and may be struggling to pay their bills, and those who are in fear as to the unknown. Allow us to pray for teachers, especially parents and grandparents, as they are challenged with teaching children either at home or eventually through virtual internet. Lord, I'm asking you now to hear our prayer as together we join together in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As you're looking at the presentation, we must remember our firemen, all these essential personnel that I've listed here, from the military, to the hospitals, to the sheriffs, to the first responders. We thank you for all that you're doing. We thank and help you. Hopefully this can help you with your your support, because we know that with God and through God, everything is possible. As we're closing in at 7.55 Eastern Time, I'm asking all of you, if you're looking for a prayer request, to feel free to do so at this time. You can submit your prayer request right now to me, and we will include that in the prayer. The Bible is open here at my home, as what I do when I'm having difficulty sleeping. And then I'm lighting the candle as we'll call it tonight, the Christ candle. You will have the opportunity to see a candle that I will have already set up with background music of Amazing Grace. We're getting closer and closer to the 8 o'clock hour. If you haven't had a chance to submit this to anybody out there, I'm asking you now to please um, share this with everyone as we are doing all that we can to make sure that everybody all over the world is aware that we are live. And everybody all over the world knows that this is the most important thing, and prayer is important. I'm hoping that each and every one of you uh, will ask for some prayers tonight. Do not fear uh, prayer. Do not fear anything other than the fact, because fear can have the biggest uh, influence on the way we react a lot of people are going out to the supermarkets and rushing to get items. Uh, my own personal opinion is we will overcome. We will adapt. We will adapt. And we will get through this. We're now at 7.56. I'm going to get us started. I hope all of you will join me in this prayer. We are trending right now. I am seeing it right now. We are trending on, um, on Twitter, which means people are joining in. And we thank you for... Uh, all of you that are uh, allowing us the opportunity to do that and to share with uh, with all of us, as we know that many of you are 
battling so many trying times and are dealing with so many different things and obstacles in our lives. Um, I'm hoping that each and every one of you will prepare yourselves and ready for this next chapter. I would like to just uh, lead off this prayer myself, if I may, before we go into the 8 o'clock hour. It is now 7.57. Allow us now the opportunity to get started. And then right at 8 o'clock, it will go into a silent prayer. So, I hope all of you have a candle. If you don't, I have one lit, lit for you. And um, the Bible is open. We're at 7.57, closing in at 7.58. Let's get ready for the first time, and hopefully never have to do it again, under these circumstances. The primetime prayer that will start at 8 o'clock until 8.08. Let us start off with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the ability to use social media for the good. We thank you for the opportunity to come into the homes of each and every person. We ask you now more than ever to be with this great nation, this world, these countries, as Lord, many of us are fearing the unknown. Many of us are uncertain as to what is going to happen. But those of us that know you, that believe in you, that have faith in you, know that with you, everything is possible. So now we know more than ever, through this prayer, all of us can have peace of mind. All of us can sleep a little bit better tonight. We pray for all the sick. We pray for the elderly. We pray for all of those that are in arm's way. And we ask you now, in this moment, to join us in this eight-minute prayer. Allow us to do so at this time. Mm. Closing in at 8 o'clock, folks, and um, allow us the opportunity to do that now. I'll count us down as we're getting ready to pray, as the world joins in. May God be with you. May God bless you. May he shine his light upon you and grant you peace as we are moments away from 8 o'clock. Let us pray. It is now 8 o'clock Eastern Time.
We are closing in at 8 o'clock, 8.08, folks. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining in on uh, this amazing prayer. Um, for those of you that may have caught us toward the end, um, this was a prime time prayer. It was an eight minute prayer. Um, and it's for all of us to come together as a nation under God. We are in crazy times right now. But one of the things that I stressed before I were before we went into our 8 o'clock prayer, was that God is with us. God believes in us. God will never leave our side. As I say it on our podcast each and every weekday, I always end our show the way I'm going to end tonight. And it ends this way. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He shine His love upon you and grant you peace. May the Lord bless each and every one of us, our Brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, nieces and nephews, grandparents, aunts and uncles. May the Lord bless our military personnel, for foreign and domestic. May he bless our first responders, EMTs, doctors, our essential personnel that is doing everything they can to keep us going. May all of you realize that if you have to go out and shop, if you pass by a church... Or if you encounter somebody, may God utter the words in your ears. Hearing the words, I am with you. I believe in you. I trust in you. And I will never leave your side. For the Heavenly Father loves you with all his heart. May God bless you. May we get by this. And as I always state on our show, We need to praise God on the good days as well as the bad days. So when this is over, we will hold another primetime show praising God as we come out of this. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen, amen. Folks, have a great day. May God bless you. And uh, I can't wait to see you again soon. For Have Faith, Let It Begin, my name is Angel, and don't forget, have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel, we're done with another show, and it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right, you and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts. Because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day. Right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we improve. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Broadcasting live worldwide. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.